Hello, this is a video to show you how to fix your printer if the Y carriage is coming in contact with the bottom of the leg of the machine. Uh, this can happen if there's some extreme uh, vibration in shipping is usually the main cause. So we're going to go ahead and loosen a bunch of screws and then retighten them and that should fix the issue. The issue I'm talking about specifically, let me go ahead and get a little zoom in here, is when the Y carriage, so this part here, comes in contact with the top of the leg of the machine here. And so while you try to home Y, it go ahead and it crashes into the, this uh, part here and the printer's unable to function correctly. So we're gonna show the fix for that and we're gonna loosen screws and then retighten them. So the screws we're loosening are both of these screws, these two screws and these two screws on both sides of the rail. And then there are three screws on this side and three screws on this side. Uh, on this side, the motor is covering the screws we need to loosen, so we're gonna remove the motor and then loosen all the screws. If the screws do come out all the way, that's okay. We can just put them back in, but our main goal here is just to loosen the screws and not take them out all of the way. So for, we're gonna use a uh, three millimeter bit to take this X-Probe cover off. Then there's another screw here. This is a three millimeter size screw. We're gonna just loosen it. Then we're gonna switch to our four millimeter bit and loosen on the screws on this side. Go ahead and uh, go to the max torque setting there on my drill. These screws might come out, so if they do come out, make sure you do not lose them. We need these screws there in place. Okay, so now we're going to loosen the motor screws. In fact, we actually need to take the motor screws all the way out for the motor screws. I'm not able to get in here, so I'm actually gonna go grab an Allen key real quick. So I'm back with this uh, little four millimeter Allen key tool here. If you're unable to get or acquire an Allen key tool like this, you can uh, remove the bottom leg of the machine off of the printer and then you could use your other tool to remove uh, these four screws or this one screw there in the corner. So this motor should be able to be pulled off. So I'm uh, shaking this back and forth like so a little bit and this red part might come or it might stay in there. Make sure you don't lose this little uh, part of the motor coupler. I'm going to loosen these screws and then uh, the motor couple here shouldn't need to be removed. There are set screws so if this is interfering too much there's a set screw here you can remove. So there might be two of them. There's one here, one there, and one there. So there's two set screws here. So you can take this set screw off and this set screw off. Then you can pull this out and put it back on this side. So you can take this out and put it, slot it right back on there, if that's in the way. Hopefully that's not going to be the case. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these four, uh, not remove, loosen these three screws right here. 
There we go. So now that all the screws are loose, this should be able to flex quite a bit. So let's see. So there you go. You can see that I'm going to hold this down. So this is the amount of flex we have here. So let me get a close up there so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So let's look at this Y rail in relation to the top of the leg of the machine here. So it does move quite a bit. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to pull the top of the machine this way, uh, this Z rail, and the motion I'm doing is I'm pushing down this way. And that's going to cause the bottom leg to flex and move a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's tighten the screws on the other side, because they're easier to work with. So this is pretty loose. And I'm lifting up with a motion here, like this, and I'm bending this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Trying to get everything in the shot here. So lifting and kind of bending this way, pushing this this way. And very gently now. Let's do the other side. Okay. Now I'm going to go back over all these screws and make sure they're tightened correctly. Had a good little turn out of some of these. And don't forget to retighten this screw as well. We're going to go ahead and put the motor back on. It's important for this motor, make sure that this power cable is facing the back of the machine, it's facing the rear of the machine. So, slotting it on. And I'm actually gonna do all these screws by hand. You should get all for the motors, it's kind of important. You should get all four screws started and then you should tighten them in a cross pattern once you have all four screws starting to be tightened.
All we have left is to put the Y Pro back on. Uh, this is a plastic cover. So if you are using power tools, make sure you do not uh, tighten these too tight because it can crack the plastic. Going to start both screws. And if this wire did get disconnected, make sure you plug this wire probe back into its proper connector. And the Y carriage uh, should now be very far away from the top of the leg of the machine. And that is how you fix a Y rail carriage that is hitting the top leg of the legs of the machine.